Hi, and welcome to the course. My name's Quentin, and I'm going to be your instructor on how to draw with colored pencils. Now, before we start, I want to go ahead and tell you a little bit about myself and how I developed my skill in art. So, I've been using and creating art with colored pencils for years now, and I've learned from multiple artists and tutorials on how to make amazing works of art with colored pencils. I've also gotten to the point where I can sell my art online, and I've also had people reach out to me and make private commissions. So with that being said, the reason why I made this course is because I want to take my years of knowledge and experience and share it with you. And before we start, I want to give you a little rundown of what exactly we'll be going over in the course. First off, if you're wondering what tools and material you're going to need, don't worry because we're going to cover that first before we go any further into the course. After we get through that, we'll start working our way through the basics of colored pencil drawing, starting with highlights and shadows. To teach you this, we'll be drawing some realistic water droplets using just a black and white colored pencil. After that, we'll then learn what a color scheme is and how to create your own color schemes and what makes a good and bad one. Once you've learned what a color scheme is, I'll then show you how to blend those colors together. We'll start by blending black and white and then we'll start using more elaborate colors. Once we've learned the basics, we'll implement everything we've learned into an assignment which is going to be this beautiful butterfly. I'll walk you through step by step showing you exactly how to color it. Then we'll move on and I'll show you how to use a secondary technique of colored pencil drawing using layers. I'll show you how to blend your colors using this new method with the layers and we'll also create some fun characters. After going over these two main techniques, we'll take a little look into texture and how to create realistic looking hair on paper. So I hope you're really excited to get into this course. I know I am and I can't wait to see all of your work. So with that being said, let's go ahead and jump right in.